Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela and we're not in the precious yard. <laughs> I do my updates in here. It's just, uh, I don't know why. I do it on my phone. I Hopefully this angle will help. Um, Nancy told me I had to turn my phone and I wasn't turning my phone. So maybe now it'll be a better, you can see everything and then maybe I can redo my yarn tour because I'm not happy with it. Anyways, hi Chief. <laughs> um, I just got done doing, I spent like two hours doing videos because I wanted it all done this week, this, this, to, today, because today's Monday. This is going to go up today. Oh, coffee with hazelnut creamer, guys. Mm hmm. Um, because. Well, I have some wallpaper to take down and I want, there's a cut, I wanted, I got my right desk ready to do a tutorial. I want to see if I can do that. We'll see. I'm not going to push myself. Um, I was having, I have some major chicken drama. <laughs> it's, it's better now, but I had some major chicken, chicken drama. I had an ice art order came in last week and my... I had three videos to do last week and my live, and I just couldn't do it. Um, Tom gave me his cold. He's very bad. He's very bad. <laughs> Anyways, I, it's not that I was, I just felt drained, and I just wanted to sleep and be left alone. <laughs> so, anyways, what I'm working on now is one of my baby pads. So, what happens is you take four colors. I made... I have a, a crochet along on my channel that I did these with and you take, I make about, you do make 200 strips of these. I don't have Chantel here to do my sewing. So <laughs> right now I just have the blue done. So that's 60 and then I'm working on the purple. I'll do 40 of those and I'll have to do 60 pink and then 40 yellow. That's my plan. Mm-hmm. So I'm doing this for Kim's uh, new granddaughter coming. It's going to take me a while. So I need some extra time. On the weekend, we um, almost finished the kitchen. We had to put the countertop in, new sink, new taps. Uh, oh, that was hard. I felt so bad for my husband. I tried to help like lift the countertop. I'm not very strong anymore. Like I used to work out every day and then I got really sick, like really sick. So I had to stop and uh, yeah, so we gouged some holes in wall. <laughs> we didn't put holes in it, but there's some gouges in it. I took some wallpaper down with the steamer. I didn't think the steamer was gonna make me sweat like it did and then he rushed me in the shower because I can't overheat. and. Yeah, that's what happened this weekend, but the countertop is in, and I love it. It's it's so bright. I know, I just got white. We couldn't, and I wanted a stone countertop or, you know, um, you know so, something I had in Paris, but it would take months to get. So I just opted with just a regular white countertop. It's supposed to not stain and... I won't be doing dying on it, let me tell you that, but it looks so much cleaner, and you know how, like, the, it was a dark blue uh, countertop on it, and I hated it. Hated my kitchen. So hopefully this will help. It does look brighter. And he started with the back splash, and it, it's, he's do, it looks wonderful. I'm so proud of him, I, what he's done to this house in such a short time. Okay, so... Yeah, let's talk about my uh, chicken drama. Not really chicken drama. Let's try rooster drama. So the rooster, I had, uh, I, you know, Penelope's doing so good. My chicken that I brought in. Her feathers are all coming in. She's so sweet and I love her. I just love her. But that's another problem. 
the rooster, Mr. Man, fell in love with Penelope. I don't know where to look, guys. <laughs> fell in love with Penelope. Think here. And he won't let me near her, and all she wants is me to be near her. Like, I, she doesn't really want... She, she'll let me pick her up and that, but she just wants to be by my feet because I'll go and sit in there and have a coffee. I'm not doing it today. It's raining. But sit in there and have coffee, and Poopsie will either get on my shoulder because she thinks she's a parrot. It's my all-black chicken. She thinks she's a parrot. She wants on my shoulder, my back, or sitting on my lap. And then Penelope will be at my feet, or if I'm doing, I can't say the word, but you know those special food um she'll eat it well most of them will eat out of my hand but she i'll get her to eat out of my hand because um the other ones are so fast and she's just not that quick yet so yeah um i so the rooster has fallen in love with penelope and won't let me near her he has started attacking me he's left some well, the one on my hand wasn't too bad, but the one on my leg was pretty bad. And it, it's still bruised, and it's been over a week and a half. So um, I I got a hold of a couple ladies, uh, Jan, the, the Alaskan crafter. Love her. She's so sweet. And then Laura, which makes me laugh. Oh, my gosh. She's like the lady, Mimi's. I, I'm sorry, Laura, but she, uh, the lady makes me s laugh so hard. And how did I screw this up? <laughs> oh, God. She makes me laugh so hard. And so, like, I just adore these women. Anyways, they have had chickens and they've had chickens for years. And I go to them for if I have questions in that because, well, I trust them which is very important. I mean, I can go online and ask questions or whatever, but you don't, or watch videos, but you don't, it's not the personal one-on-one -on -one and yeah. So they've been amazing for me. And so they told me he needed to times out and what else he did. Oh my gosh. I felt so bad. And I told him about it. Like I was, my heart was racing. I thought, I, I so I'm just going to tell you, like, don't judge me for this. I'm new at it, right? I didn't do it. I put the, I call them the Golden Girls. They're now the Golden Girls. They're, there's uh, Blanche, Rose, and Dorothy, the new chickens. They're the Golden Brown chickens. They are, they were in a section of the pen all by themselves. And because it, that pen is safer for them than the pen that I got from Amazon until my husband has time to secure it better. So I wanted them in there. Well, my husband had to secure the other pen better <laughs> right away because the Golden Girls got a little loose. Well, not a little loose. They got loose and they were fine. They love, like, they all get along. I, the The boy... Mr. Man started pulling out his feathers, his tail feathers, and they just started growing in, and I didn't understand what was going on. He pulled out his feathers, there was, and there was blood, and I, I, I was, listen, I was crying. I was just hysterical, I, I, but I, I cleaned him up. I stayed calm to clean him up. I wasn't hysterical around him because I don't want him more upset. And he doesn't like me as it is now. Like, he used to like me. He don't anymore. And I think it was just too overwhelming for him. So I went to the girls and I asked them, what do I do? They told me I, he needs a time out. First of all, he's attacking you. That's not right. Like, roosters can turn mean, I guess. I never, ever had a problem with him. But I've only been around a couple and... He, he, I think he's got some anxiety issues. I th think he may need medication. I don't know, but the, the way he pulled out his tails, I was just, anyways, I washed him up. He's fine. He's fine now, but he is on his own. He is by himself. He didn't like it for the first couple of days, but right now he's happy. I go in there and I don't, 
I don't go in a space too often because I, I think I'm more timid now. And I shouldn't be because, yeah. But I make sure he, he, he has his own space. My husband secured the, the run form, the one that everybody helped me buy for when I did the mystery bags, which I so greatly appreciate. <sighs> but he's on his own. And I don't know how long it'll be. His butt has to, it's been over, it's been over a week, but his butt, butt has to heal. Um, I have to see signs that he's not going to be aggressive of me. And I mean, he's okay. He's really close to the girls. The girls go say hi to him. He's at the other gate. He, he still tells them that they need to go to bed. And then after they're in bed, he puts himself to bed because he's got his own coop and everything. So he's fine. He's just by himself, but he's not lonely because the other girls are still with him. And I, I, I was really having a hard time with this. And it's me. Laura said to me, you need to stop putting the human emotion into these wild animals. Um, you need to think that these, these, these birds are wild. They're not they're not human. It's, it's okay. And I need, and I needed to really take that in. If it wasn't, like I said, like if it wasn't for these two ladies, I don't know where I'd be because I was so devastated when all this happened. But right now the girls are getting along great. They need a bigger roost. My husband's building them a bigger roost this weekend. We're going to clean up the pen again. Well, Cause I'm a, anal about the pen, right? I have to clean it all the time. I'm out there cleaning poop every day. And I know I should just leave it and do, but I, I just, I'm just out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they're very happy. The girls all get along. I know there's a pecking order and it seems that Penelope is not at the bottom where I thought she'd be. She has a place on the roost where she wants to sleep. And if the other chickens are on that spot, she'll push them. <laughs> she pushes them and she's like, that's my spot. And that's where she sleeps. That's where she wants to sleep. And she sleeps in every day. She's one of the last chickens. Her and Kimmy are the ones, the last two to get out of bed. Yeah. But I, uh, I love them. I go out there and I sit with them. There's a lot of mosquitoes out there, so I, I make sure and cover myself. But um, I make sure and sit with them. And I actually bought a watermelon for them. They love watermelon. All my animals do. I love it too. So I can only have a little bit. So Bella Chief gets it. The chickens get it. Yeah. So. And then I got them cucumber this week too. My husband's like, a hundred dollar egg. Each egg cost me a hundred dollars. <laughs> I said, not you. It's the yarn. <laughs> the yarn makes the money for them now. So yeah, I just, he just jokes. He, he sees how happy I am with them. And I just go out there and sit with them. Poopsie usually ends up somewhere on me. And she, she'll pack at me, like not hard, but enough to let me know, I'm here, mom, please sit properly so I can get on you <laughs> and I'll usually have a coffee the one day I tried to have a coffee out there well she just got out of her dust bath and I was like okay <laughs> she jumps on me I, I'm I'm covered in dirt and then she shakes I didn't get that coffee it was full <laughs> full of dirt yeah but she made me sit out there for a good she'll sit on me for a good 10 15 minutes and then she's done she's done with me but it, i just she thinks she's a parrot i always wanted a parrot and her and miss thing miss thing just chitter chatters all day long just chitter chatters so yeah they're doing really good they're doing really good and i'm really happy with them i just wish mr man was i don't know more, I don't know. I, I just, I'll work with him. I'm never getting rid of him. If he has to stay where he is for as long as I have him, I'm okay with that. I really am. As long as he's okay. You know what I mean? I do, uh, that's what's important. If he's okay. I don't have to be friends with him. 
I can still love him from afar. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't want to make him feel uncomfortable. And I just think he just was so in love with Penelope. He just was beside her all the time. He wouldn't let any of the girls near her or anything. So now that he's gone, the girls are actually being kind to her, more kind and not, you know, pecking at her or chasing her or anything like that. I mean, there's a little bit of it, but there was not extreme and it was fine. All her feathers are growing back. She's doing so good. And I will put her on camera soon now that she's... Um, not completely naked. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm thinking about doing one of these videos out there with them when I'm out there. Not today. It's, it's, it was raining. It stormed really bad last night. Chickens don't seem to mind. I have those three chickens that have bouffants, right? I call them bouffants. It's just a little... You know, in the 60s, how they had their hair really big. And when it's wet, the... Those feathers kind of go down and it's like they're so funny I just love them anyways that's basically it this week you have lots of videos coming next week my niece is coming on Tuesday so I'm hoping I can get some videos done for you on Monday have a tutorial for you next week so I don't have to worry about you know doing much I just want to spend time with her she works so hard and she's works two jobs um, just so she can pay her rent and you know and she needed a break so bad so she's coming out Tuesday to Friday so I'm hoping I can still do my live maybe she'll join me maybe not she just needs a break she said and I said absolutely you come here and you sleep you do whatever you want no one's gonna bother you I promise she just says Nancy I just miss you I just miss you and I that broke my heart because Okay, so her and I have always been really close. It was always her, me, and Chantel. Uh, she's lived on, with me off and on. That's how close we were. We just She just comes and crashes out my house for months at a time. Then she leaves, comes back, and crashes out my house <laughs> for months at a time. And it's just the way she was. Anyways, yeah, so she's coming. She, she just... And she's like me. She loves animals. So I want to take her to the farm. I want to take... I, I hope her and Mr. Man get along because I don't want to scare her. Anyways. Okay, guys. That's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I probably didn't look at the right spot. Um, it was just to catch up and tell you what's going on and what I'm doing. And you'll have lots of videos. Three for sure. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.